kicked, choked, punched, and left on the streets of downtown Albuquerque. And a cell phone was rolling the whole time. That cell phone video is racking up the views, and people are outraged at what they're looking at and at who appears to be putting on that beating. News 13's Cole Miller is live at 4th and Central where this whole thing went down. Cole? Well, Alex, the bars had just let out, and people were starting to fill the streets and sidewalks down here. When one man went looking for his friend, he stumbled across a violent scene. Now, we want to go ahead and warn you the video you are about to see is pretty graphic. The cell phone video is hard to stomach. If you watch how his head moves, I just never seen anything like that. After taking a foot to the face, this man on his back outside of the strip club knockouts. Keep it up, dude. Keep it up. Has another man standing on his neck early this morning. I heard uh, the bouncers yelling, and then I went over and filmed it. The video shot by the guy behind inhabitants of Burke has gone viral. Oh my God. Is he out? Is he a no, he's alive? Yeah. And reactions like theirs are popping up all over social media. It was terrible. Yeah, I can't believe somebody would do that. You think that they'd handle it differently. Yeah. I don't understand why or how, as a profession, you know, as a bouncer, how you could, like, take it to that level. After that kick to the stomach and then to the face, the video rolls on for a few more seconds. So afterwards, I told him, like, dude, you need to get off his neck. You're going to kill him. When you watch that video, does it look like an assault to you? I mean, it's, it's pretty blatant. There's some, some type of interaction going on, and to brutally kick somebody in the head like that, we need to find out what happened prior and what happened after. But that was just the beginning of this guy's bad night. Another video shot just minutes later shows him in a fight with someone else, taking quite a beating. In that video, we see one of the guys from the first video. He's there in the orange shirt that later comes off. And back out in the street, he lands blow after blow after blow. The man's body appears almost lifeless. We would hope that after reviewing the video, the victim would be compelled to call us and talk to us. A bouncer at another downtown bar heard about this and watched the video. And while he's against the type of force being used, he isn't passing judgment. When you work in this kind of atmosphere, you know, people don't always see what we have to protect and what goes on and what's provoked. And sometimes people do cross the line. Now, police say the men in those videos could be looking at felony assault charges. As for what started this scuffle in the streets, that's still all being sorted out. Now, Alex, we did stop by knockouts this afternoon, but nobody there wanted to talk about what had happened. Back to you. All right, Cole, thanks. Back in 2007, a 21-year-old man died after a bouncer at the now-defunct Cowboys bar sat on his chest. The DA didn't prosecute the bouncer, though, saying there was much more to his death than that.